All right, guys, I'm back here with another heater, another one right now, like Cat, Cat DJ Cali says. So right now, you know, you guys know I pulled the trigger on the um, U.S. Uh, general uh, push cart. I had a coupon, um, and I am a member of the Harbor Freight. So I had a coupon for... Um, $89 so it came close to like a hundred and um so this is not gonna be um my my um gunsmith toolbox my gunsmith toolbox is gonna be the husky and um when the US uh general comes out with the other one on sale I think it's gonna be either next week or the week after that I think it's going to be two weeks from now, if I, I believe, I think on the 13th or the 14th. This is just a push cart, so basically I'm going to just use this. This is going to be like to push my tools and shit, but um, this is what I use to pull, to do all this setup. I just use the regular screwdriver like this, and um, I, use, I actually use this one, this screwdriver. And I used, um, I forgot what millimeter uh, wrench um, I had the Husky set. Another thing that I wanted to show you guys for the gunsmithing, the ARs. As you guys know, I did build my own AR-10 from Palmetto State. And it was like pre-assembled, but um, still you had to get the receiver and put all the parts in. So I used this one but i wasn't really successful so i had to go to a gunsmith to my gun range i did utilize this hammer from husky uh it worked out really good um i forgot what other tools that i did use i actually got it on my on my camera on my phone i should i should post that that link up but um one thing that i wanted to talk about you know and uh, this is this uh, stuff that you need, you know, um, gun safe for your car, portable safe for your car or your house. I have a couple of these laying around just in case kids come over. I don't want them snooping around with the gun, so I, I lock them up. Um, always have some spare holsters. And I don't really, I'm not a real big fan of this M MCK. I'm trying to see if I could get rid of it somehow. So, um, one thing that I wanted to talk about, and I, I don't see a lot of people talking about in their videos, is um, there's a couple of more hammers that I got. There's that, um, the two drills I got that from Harbor Freight. Of course, everybody knows I'm Raobi. But, um, I wanted to talk about right here. Sorry, I don't have a camera person to help me. Don't throw away your ammo, guys. If you can redeem some of your ammo, just don't throw them out. Sorry, I have somebody trying to call me. I I got them in bags. Um, I, of course, I use gloves, but you know you don't get lead poisoning because that shit is very serious. You can die from that, actually. So be a, um, when you're dealing with firearms in general, safety first, guys. Safety first. So I was thinking of a creative way how to utilize this um, popcorn thing from Star Wars. So I ended up having a whole bunch of ammo and I put them in all bags and different um, 9mm, 45 ACP, 10mm, um, even 380. As you guys can see, that's like a 5.56. Five, five, that's a three, 308. So we have all different calibers of uh, rounds in here that I that I shot, and you know I I try not to get I try to redeem a lot of them, and what I do is I clean them out, and um, I I go to a friend of mine that reloads them, and I pay him a little bit of money, and um, you know what I mean instead of me going to somewhere that I that you know that. You know, going paying for ammo is more cheaper to go with him. He's a professional that I work with, 
And, it, you know, this for, like, um, to shoot in the range and stuff. Nothing for, like, self-defense or anything like that. You know what I mean? Because I, I, I don't trust my life with that, that type of ammo. But I, I, I you know, I, I save the ammo and I bring it to him. And I'm trying to, I'm trying to see if I can do the same thing. You know, eventually I work my way up to that level that I could just reload my own ammo. But that's, you know, that's what I wanted to address, man. A lot of you guys on YouTube, you guys, I don't be seeing you guys pick up your ammo and nothing like that. So I just wanted to do a quick video about that as well. You know what I mean? It just caught my eye. Like, you know, I should, I should talk about that. Excuse the mess right now. The um, boots, those I, I, those are my work boots. When I go cut the grass, I have an acre and a half of land here, so I have a, quite a bit of a mess. I'm gonna throw. I'm gonna end up throwing that that box out. That's a um a Dewalt box, but I might keep it. I don't know, but it has some tool like nails and shit, like for a nail gun. But uh, you know, like I said, I built. Um, uh, a, a percentage of this house I remodeled this whole house so um in any of any event that's not the, what the video is about the video is about you know reloading ammo and uh just just wanted to talk about it real quick besides the um the, the cart that I that I built I actually put this together right now and, and it wasn't that hard it wasn't that hard to do it. But um, it was tedious. And thank God I had this table. Because I, I bought this table at um, Home Depot today, actually. And I bought this today, too. So uh, I bought this table at Home Depot. And um, it helped me out a lot. Because it stabilized the whole setup of me just trying to put... I was trying to do it in the couch. But it was... It wasn't stable enough. So this gave me a, a little bit more leverage, the table. So um, thank God that I bought the table. And I'm going to be doing yard sales too. So I'm going to be utilizing the table because I have a lot of stuff in here in the house that I'm trying to get rid of and just like declutter. But uh, other than that, uh, this U.S. General is off the cheesy. I recommend it. You know, people go get it. You know what I mean? Um, it wasn't that hard to put together, like I said. It was tedious. You know, it, it got me kind of pissed off a little bit, but I did it by myself and while, while watching TV. So I was like kind of multitasking in the same token. It does come with a lock. You know, you just have a key there. You can lock your... your, your, your your um your thing i did wish i did wish that it came with a top cover and also like a, a at least at least one more draw uh, uh you know if it came if it would have came with at least one more draw and a top cover and you know because this this cover right here i explained to you guys Try, sorry for um this cover right here, if they would have put it on top of here too, I think they cheaped out on that. You know, this is going to be some tools that you're going to be needing if you're going to be modifying your guns or whatever. Not like I'm saying I'm a gunsmith or anything, but like some stuff like, you know, um, you want a fowler, you need to get a, a lot of different fowlers. Um, like I just use this particular hammer um, to, you know, to do gunsmithing, like with, with the AR-10 platform that I did with Palmetto State, which worked excellent, but, um, and, you know, of course, I did, I wasn't really successful with this, if you guys let me know in the comment section, if you guys had any success with this one, my friend, uh, Elvis from the BX recommended me to get this, big shout outs to Elvis, but, um, this really, uh, to be honest with you, you need a vice grip. You know, you need all your your car, um, gunsmithing tools, and all, I think this would have worked out fine. But to be honest with you, I wasn't really impressed. To be real with you, 
with with this particular tool. I bought that on eBay, and I wasn't impressed. I, I didn't really like. I don't really like it. So um, I might I might be selling it in, in the yard sale. I'll try to see if I can redeem some money back from it, but it's it is what it is. So that being said, guys, um, like and subscribe as always. You know. I'm just coming up with a, uh, this is not going to be, of course, this is not going to be my gunsmithing toolbox. This is going to, this is going to be actually my push cart to do, you know, work or whatever. Uh, maybe push cart to do work on guns too, but, you know, let's see what happens. Because, you know, you need a variety of tools to work on guns too. So, whatever floats, whatever goes, you know what I mean? Because I have friends that have a lot of guns. I have um, friends that have cars too. So we're going to see what, what it do. You know what I mean? And uh, you guys in the comment section, let me know what do you think. And uh, just leave a comment. Uh, I would prefer positive. You know what I mean? Don't I don't really like... No, nobody really likes negative talk. So I like to keep it on a positive level. You know what I mean? But in the end of the day... I think I got that screw in loose. I got to check on that. In the end of the day, I'm very hot, happy with this product. I mean, it's not it's not the best of the best. The reason why I pulled the trigger on this, to be real with you, because the price of metal is going up. Everything is going up. Everything is going up. So to have this set up is good to have because... This is gonna be expensive. This is already, everything is going up. Nothing goes down. So that's why I went with this unit. But uh, other than that, guys, like I said, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Was it, was it a good idea or was it a bad idea? Oh, another thing that I wanna mention about this cart. If anybody has this cart and modified it in a certain way to make it better, um, also leave that in the comment section because I would like to know about that as well. This is a, actually, this color is new. This is a sleek gray color. That's the reason why I, I bought it too because uh, all the other colors i seen on YouTube, but I haven't seen this one. This is a sleek gray color. You guys let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Peace, I'm out.